There are some situations it makes sense to have more than one brand, known in the automotive world as a mark. For example, using the same mark for cheap vehicles, that you use on luxury vehicles, will reduce the mark's luxury image. In turn, that will make it more difficult for you to sell luxury vehicles. The same idea holds with sports cars. You probably shouldn't sell supercars or fund racing teams with the same mark you sell minivans, if you're trying to increase your racing image. With that in mind, you should separate luxury and sports car marks from your general consumer vehicles. You should also separate your high-quality vehicles from your low-quality vehicles, and so forth, unless your goal is to raise the image ratings of your general consumer and lower-quality cars, at the expense of your other design sales. To better control production or tailor designs closer to their market, you may also want to separate your company regionally. The best way to do that is with separate marks, especially if you're using the auto production system. In another situation, you might get a chance to purchase one of your competitors. In which case, it makes sense to keep their mark and infrastructure around. It is a wise idea to offer similar models to consumers. For every additional minor variation of a design you sell, you take more sales from your competitors than you do from yourself. Multiple marks is a good way to do this. See the Trims video tutorial for a more detailed explanation of this concept. There are two ways you can get additional marks. You can purchase an existing company or mark. Or you can create one from scratch. Both ways are in the stock broker window. In Gear City, you can only purchase publicly traded companies. To purchase a company, select them from the stock list. Then click the acquisition button. When you purchase a company, what you are doing is purchasing all shares from other owners. If you own shares, you won't have to repurchase what you own. The game displays the number of shares you need to buy, the price you can get them, and the total costs to buy the company. Clicking the Acquire Company button will send your offer to the company. The company will then vote if they approve the buyout offer. If you own 50% of the company, the game will automatically approve the buyout offer. When you purchase another company, you receive all their vehicle designs, component designs, inventories, marks, factories and branches. You do not get their contracts or license designs. The game discontinues any racing vehicles automatically, and it sells any factories or branches if you already operate one in the city. Purchasing a company allows you to expand more rapidly than the game allows on harder difficulty levels. Also, depending on the conditions of the company, or the global economy, you can get factories and designs cheaper by buying out a company. Finally, buying out a company reduces competition. If you don't want to buy the company as a whole, you can purchase a mark from a company. The stock window displays the number of marks a company owns on the information page. To view the mark, select the company, then click the marks button. The list will update with all marks of the company. Select the mark you're interested in, and the game will display the information about the mark and the purchase price. If you wish to buy the mark, Click the Acquire Mark button. Purchasing a mark from another company will grant you that mark, all their vehicle and component designs, and any factories or branches that the mark owns. You do not get their contracts or licensed designs. The game discontinues any racing vehicles automatically, and it sells any factories or branches if you already operate one in the city. Just like buying a full company, Buying an existing mark is a good idea if you want a mark with specific image ratings, expand to new branches and factories rapidly, or want extra vehicle designs from an already established mark. What if you wanted to start a mark from scratch? Select your company from the stock broker window, and then click the mark button. The window now lists all your marks. Click the new mark button to create a new mark. The cost to make the new mark is here.
The more marks you have, the more expensive it is to create a new one. Also, the costs go up every year. Fill out the information in the window and then hit create. The new mark should appear on the list. If you select it, you'll see several mark options. A mark is part of your company. They operate under your direction. But what if you wanted the mark to operate independently? This situation is where you'll use either the spin-off or create wholly owned subsidiary functions. Both actions turn your mark into an independent company, managed by the AI. They will have access to your designs, and you will have access to their designs. But they have their own factories and branches, and you do not control what they do or build. With a spin-off, your shareholders receive an equal value of the mark as they own of your company. If you create a wholly owned subsidiary, then your company will own 100% of the mark, regardless of your shareholders. If you are not a publicly traded company, then the spin-off option is the same as creating a wholly owned subsidiary. When creating a subsidiary, you have the option to include the mark's factory and branches. The mark will take, at a minimum, some money, and their designs when you spin them off. If you own over 50% of the spin-off, you can easily reacquire them. It is free to do so if you own 100% of the company. What is the purpose of spinning off marks? If you find managing a mark cumbersome, you can always let the AI do it for you. You extract income from the company by setting dividend payments in the stock system. If it is a wholly owned subsidiary, there is no limit to the number of dividends you can set. But know that dividend payouts will slow the company's growth. And large dividend payouts can even kill the subsidiary. The mark panels of the stockbroker window also gives you the option to sell the mark. If you do this, another company in the game or an investment firm will make an offer to buy the mark. Finally, you can discontinue a mark. By discontinuing a mark, the game will discontinue all the mark's designs. You can also include factories and branches. This action is a great option if you no longer want a mark around. You can also restore a discontinued mark by checking the Show Discontinued Marks button, selecting a discontinued mark, and then hitting the Restore Mark button. Restoring a mark will not bring back the mark's designs, factories or branches. There are no costs to discontinuing or restoring a mark. Players frequently use this option to purge the designs of an AI company while keeping the mark active. In summation, the mark system is a great way to separate your vehicle designs to maximize image ratings. You can also use it to separate regional designs and production. It can also be a good way to organize the quality levels of your trims. The mark system is the basis of brand ownership in the game. Whether or not you use it is your own choice.